Hi, this is Nick, and welcome to Let's Make This, step-by-step -step tutorials where we show you how to make anything on Squarespace using Square Cooker. Summary blocks have a unique way of displaying rich and dynamic content in the form of a grid, wall, list, or carousel. These blocks can pull in data from items in blogs, events, and even stores. Because summary blocks are so powerful with the unique way they pull in content from other dynamic sources on your site, they have so many great use cases. You don't have to just think of these as blogs. You can use them for anything. Food recipes, team profiles, wedding albums, or even just a quick way of lining up a list of images for a logo wall or a list of services that can be directed to other parts of your site. Today we're going to run you through all the options in the Square Cooker Summary Block tool and create this custom list of team profiles, which before Square Cooker looked like this. As you open your Square Cooker Summary Block tool, you will see a list of options relative to the Summary Block's design you have selected. This block is using a grid layout. Starting at the top of your list, yes, Square Cooker now gives you the ability to set the number of columns for your Summary Block on every device. The post is a Summary Block item container. Notice when you hover on the tools, Square Cooker highlights the element for you on the left. So when you hover on the caption, for example, the element relating to this tool will be highlighted as well. The Elements tool relates to all the summary block elements inside a post. Square Kicker also gives you the options to disable all or any specific link on a post element. Visibility allows you to hide individual elements per device, giving you control for how your summary block appears on any size screen. And finally, the block tool gives you all your normal Square Kicker block tools for the outer block container. The animation tab, available on a designer plan, gives you the option to turn any image on a summary block into a lightbox image. All right, let's put some of these tools to work. By the way, did you know you can use the up and down arrow keys to change input numbers? And when you hold down the shift key, then change in multiples of 10. Here we're going to enable the overlay caption toggle, which moves the caption over the post image. Just so we can read the caption on the bottom of the image, we're going to add a transparent overlay gradient. Have you ever wanted to change the text of your read more link to something other than read more? Or how about styling your link into a button? Well now you can with one click and use all your normal square kicker button tools on your new post button. Remember that all changes in square kicker cascade down to smaller devices. And because we have set our summary block columns to four, we want to check how this looks on all devices. Great. Now that's perfect for every device. Now it's your turn. Enjoy the experience of unlimited design possibilities. Show us what you can do by posting your before and after screenshots to Facebook or Instagram and tag us in the comments of your summer block designs using Square Cooker. We can't wait to see what you create. Mm -hmm.